Hi, I'm China, and I write under the name C.S. Wells, and today is an announcement video that my debut novel, We'll Never Land, is available now for pre-order. It'll be published officially on January 1st of 2020, but if you want to get a copy ordered before that, it is now available on barnesandnoble.com for the hardcovers and paperback copies, and the paperback copies and ebooks are also available on amazon.com. Other than that, I just wanted to share that because it was pretty exciting and I was super, super happy to announce that. I think I've caught all the things I'm going to catch, although I am probably still, knowing me and how neurotic I am, I'm probably still going to do like one more read through just before my final dates because when you do the pre-orders, um, you can still edit the book on the inside. Uh, up until a certain date on on Kim, KDP it's like up until like the 28th of December in this case and on Barnes and Noble Press it's up until like the 17th of December so if I catch anything else between now and then I will fix it but I think I've got everything I did one final formatting check today on my copies like going through real carefully checking each page and just taking note of any little things that were off and then correcting them so I'm just really, really happy. I've officially hit the button that says these are being published. They're available for pre-order. I've already checked the websites. Um, if you want to check the ebook on Amazon.com, um, this is getting corrected shortly, but you will want to look up We'll Never Land um, C. Wells instead of C.S. Wells. I'm already in the process of fixing it. It's just going to take like 24 hours or so to update. Um, but otherwise, if you want to look it up on Barnes & Noble, Dot com. It's just We'll Never Land by C.S. Wells and it should be right there. If you've seen my cover before, you'll know exactly what it looks like. Anyway, I've just, I've got like all this excited energy, plus it's a holiday because it's Thanksgiving and I'm like excited to see family that I haven't seen in a while um, and go eat some awesome food. At this point, I have reached out to my ARC winners and either delivered their copies, if it was ebook copies, gotten a hold of them, asking them for the way that I can send it to them, or contacted them in the case of my paperback winner um, of an art copy and let her know, hey, I put this into Barnes & Noble, I'm just waiting on their approval, and then I'm going to be shipping you your copy, and I'll let you know when that is, and I'll get you your tracking number. So that's where I'm at right now. I promise this is probably going to be the last, like, vlog-style just announcement-y video in a while. I know I haven't put out any, like, educational content in a little bit here. Um, I will have a video shortly about how to, because I've been doing a bunch of formatting, tweaking, and like fixing last little formatting things, on if you are doing formatting um, and your words are too far apart, like on a certain line, because of the way that you have your widow and orphan line set up. Sorry, I'm getting into technical crap. But um, if you've noticed that some of your lines, your words are like way spaced out and they look like they're double spaced, but they actually just have one space in them, how to fix that because it's actually super, super easy. And I had to figure it out a little while ago and I thought it would be good to share on here. Um, aside from that, I've got some other videos coming up. Like I'm going to, somebody requested a like channel intro video, which I'm, I'm planning on working on doing. Um, I may actually get that done today. Um, another video that I'm gonna be doing shortly, which might piss off some people, um, but you know what, they're not novel concepts in any way, shape, or form, but basically talking about intentionally not following certain grammatical rules, sorry, I don't know why I stuttered on that, grammar, spelling, other punctuation stuff, um, intentionally for stylistic purposes and, and stuff like that as well. And I'm gonna kind of lump that in with uh, basically taking any writing advice that you get with a grain of sand, regardless of who it's by. Um, Anybody on this channel who knows me and who has watched this knows that I like to cite, cite Stephen King on that one. Although I'm realizing as I'm going through Stephen King on writing, which I'm currently working on going through, that what I've seen expressed in interviews with him and what I've seen expressed by other people about what he says on stuff isn't really exactly what he advises in that book. Um, I think it's treated a little bit more like black and white advice, whereas even in his book, some of the stuff that's sometimes contentious is actually has some gray area that he covers. 
and makes it a little bit less of a, it's like, okay, well, I'm not gonna follow that personally, uh, but you're not telling me you have to or you're an awful writer, which is what some people make it sound like his advice is, which is not necessarily the case. Um, anyway, I will be doing a book review on that book once I'm through it here shortly. I've actually thoroughly enjoyed it, uh, beside the parts that, like, also disturbed me deeply. But it's Stephen King! If there wasn't something, even in his non-fiction book, uh, that deeply disturbs you, then, uh, it wouldn't be Stephen King. Um, anyway, that's it for me. I'm just rambling at this point, and I'm gonna shut up because the important part of the video is over. Uh, and I'm gonna try to get that other video done while I'm here, and since I'm all made up and junk, may as well not waste the makeup. So I hope everybody's having a good last little bit of their NaNoWriMo. We only got a couple days left, and I will talk to you later. Alrighty, bye-bye.